morning, um, and on behalf of EDARA, the European Development and Research Academy, it's my pleasure to welcome you all here today to this morning's roundtable event. Um, we will be exploring uh, the implications of deepening Sino-US tensions on the relationship between the EU and ASEAN. And as you know, EDARA is a think and a do tank. It's a European independent research centre it's founded in 2012 and based in Brussels, Belgium. IDARA runs conferences, training and produces high quality reports to improve policy and decision making at global level. Through research and programs, as we do today, we are committed to developing strategic insights, organizing conferences and workshops for gover governmental and non-governmental actors and civil society partners to find inclusive solutions to peace. Our work addresses key drivers of insecurity, global challenges, conflicts and the complex mixture of interwoven economic, geopolitical, social and environmental threats in the world. So it's my pleasure now to welcome our first speaker today, Mr. Wim uh, Van Leer. Um, special thanks to uh, EDARA for organizing this conference on this very vital and timely subject. Um, it's now my pleasure to welcome our second speaker today, uh, Mr. Theo Franken. Yes, I want. it's a very interesting idea and I really love your speech and it was interesting, but for me we can't talk about the new Bretton Woods Agreement, but we have to talk also about standards. And the standards of the West are the best. Dem democracy is not perfect. Democracy is imperfect. Absolutely. And um, there's a lot of hypocrisy in international policy also from the West. Absolutely. That's just how it goes. But um, I prefer the imperfection of freedom than the imperfection of unfreedom. Our next speaker is uh, Mr. Maurizio Geri. So, um, as uh, the moderator said, I spent five years in NATO as an analyst. So, uh, you know, when you work in NATO, uh, you are always NATO, because uh, NATO, we forget uh, about that, but is a political military alliance. To welcome uh, Ambassador Ismat Yahan, who is uh, a career diplomat from Bangladesh and is serving at the moment as permanent observer for the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to the European Union. Was the um, radical extremist groups in uh, ASEAN, uh, well, not necessarily um, extremist group uh, threats, but you know, unfortunately we have seen that um, uh, the member states is also involved. Uh, and he will discuss the political and economic effects of trade conflicts between China and the US. Um, Mr. Bacciri, welcome. The trade conflict between the two big protagonists of the world, the two big economic giants, namely the United States and China. So our next speaker is Mr. Faisal Abbas. I'm the editor of uh, Arab News, which is the uh, leading Middle East uh, English language newspaper based in Riyadh, where uh, I am from. Now, uh, our next speaker will be joining us um, from the US, I believe from San Francisco. So Mr. Arif I. Ali. So the, I'll start out by perhaps referring to the, uh, the concept that chaos theorists, philosophers, economists and uh, even meteorologists uh, have long debated so-called butterfly uh, effect which is the theory that inconsequential events can have larger unforeseen consequences which is far more asian in terms of psychology in terms of approach in terms of values ethics and morals i'll stop there so we we started and ended today by saying that the west cannot hold on to the status quo, cannot continue to export its standard and its values, but needs that the world needs to come together um, from a position of humbleness and with fresh 
ideas. And um, this was contested earlier with the idea that no, we need to hang on to the European or the Western standards. We need to think about human rights uh, when we had the intervention from Mr. Franken. Um, we also talked about the risk and the continuous challenge of, of Chinese encroachment uh, and the increasing militarization of the South China Sea um, that is still pivotal for global uh, security. Um, and that also touches on, on, on the battle for dominance on big data and digitalization. Uh, we spoke about international trade. Um, we said that we cannot look at the relations between Asia and the West without considering the Middle East. It is critical um, and China's leverage in the region has the potential to ease tensions and to ease uh, conflicts in the region and we must be aware of that. Uh, we heard about the butterfly effect of the arbitration case which has the potential to inflame tensions in, in the Southeast Asia region as well. Um, so all of this, all of these outcomes will be summarized in a report, I believe, um, by Adara. Um, so do um, be on the lookout for that. Um, so finally, I'd like to close by thanking everyone uh, for your participation, uh, for your honest uh, uh, interventions. Um, and I do hope that the conversation uh, will continue and I wish you uh, a wonderful day. Thank you.